Georgia trade is at a record high, topping $139 billion last year. China is one of Georgia's top trade partners. How will tensions between the U.S. and China affect business here? Well, to answer that question, we welcome Chris Chan, a partner with Evershed Sutherland, and Roy Bowen, president of the Georgia Association of Manufacturers. Thank you both for being here. Mm -hmm. Chris, I want to start with you. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what the relationship is today between China and Georgia? How are things going uh, in light of the tensions? Yeah, the relationship is still you know, stronger than ever. I think uh, on both sides, uh, Georgians uh, really appreciate um, the, um, the contributions that Chinese uh, companies and uh, their partners are making to the uh, Georgia economy and vice versa. I think the Chinese really appreciate uh, Georgia's efforts to uh, reach out and establish um, new, new business be beachheads in, in China. But you know, with that being said, there's, a, there's this national you know, overview of a trade war going on, which um, I think affects you know, all of us. Right. Has, has, have we seen the level of investment in Georgia? Uh, remain the same or has it dropped off a little bit? You know, since we last spoke, uh, the level of investment you know, hasn't increased and really it remains at a record low level of uh, Chinese investment into Georgia and even nationally. Um, I, I think the um, you know, trade war, if, so to speak, you know, has really uh, pushed that down, but you know, the, the decrease in investments you know, started long before um, you know, the trade war started. Roy, I want to turn to you to talk a little bit about uh, the impact that new tariffs could have here in Georgia uh, on manufacturers. Which sectors would be affected the most? Well, any sector, or every sector, I should say, uh, that relies on imports from uh, China. Uh, heavy equipment manufacturers are, are a great example. Uh, I know that, for instance, John Deere and Caterpillar are each uh, projecting about $100 million in added costs due to tariffs during the coming year. $100 million in added costs, how do companies balance that? How do they spread that out? How do they eat that or pass it on to consumers? What happens? Well, there's a, there's a variety of ways that these tariffs are being handled. Um, from the China standpoint, we're seeing discounts provided to offset the impact of tariffs. We're seeing currency devaluation in China. We're seeing the importers eat some of the costs of the tariffs. We're seeing the manufacturers eat parts of the portions of the tariffs. So the, up to this point, the, the impact of tariffs, the, the passing on of the impact of tariffs has been relatively minimal to the consumer. There have been tariffs that have been uh, instituted along the way, so these would be additional tariffs. Correct. If, if the administration goes through with uh, its plan to increase the tariffs, uh, there will be more of an impact on the consumer. I will tell you, I, I think oftentimes the, the media will lead you to believe uh, that the price of anything coming in from China will increase by 25 percent. That's just not going to be no, that's the case. Right. right. I think companies are going to handle it differently depending on what they can do to, to spread the costs out. Right. Well, and, and the other, because some of the inputs represent from China would represent only a fraction of the total cost of a of a product, for instance. Right. Now, now you know, intellectual property uh, is also part of this conversation. And Chris, I want to turn to you. As the presidents, um, you know, are going to be talking at the G20, do you think that intellectual property will also be a part of that conversation? Oh, certainly. That's one of the uh, primary drivers uh, by the administration uh, to uh, really put the pressure on uh, China to tr change its policies mm -hmm. um, on intellectual property, protect particularly on protecting and enforcing uh, intellectual property rights in China. Um, you know, the, there, there's been a perception uh, that uh, Chinese uh, companies and the Chinese government ha hasn't been uh, as, as forceful as it could be uh, with respect to intellectual property rights. And Is that changing, do you think? I, I believe um, it has been changing within uh, China. You know, we've seen some changes within their laws. We've seen some changes within their uh, court system uh, with respect to in enforcement of intellectual property rights. But I think uh, what the Trump administration wants to see is longer term uh, uh, changes longer term policy changes and you know, really a uh, balancing and, and leveling of the field with respect to intellectual property rights um, and the treatment of uh, you know, foreign companies in, in, in China. Well, we'll have to end it there. I'm sure all eyes will be mm -hmm. on the G20 this week.